Well guys, this is the end of this tutorial series. Well, welcome to another very exciting visual effects tutorial. In this video, we are finally going to combine all of the clips that we've created over the last couple of weeks to put together a really cool camera zoom effect all the way from outer space down towards the earth, through a city and into a building. As you may have noticed, this is going to be the fifth and final part in this tutorial series. Over the course of the last four parts, we have created a number of different clips, one for each section of the camera zoom effect. In part one and part two, we have created a cinematic sunrise in outer space, at the end of which the camera starts to plummet down towards the earth. In part three, we created a transition scene of the camera flying through a layer of clouds, revealing a city night scene below, and the camera then diving off into another layer of clouds down towards the city. In part 4, we have created the scene of the camera emerging from the bottom layer of clouds, flying through a 3D model of a city and then entering into one of the buildings to transition into our final shot. In this part, we will combine these three clips into one epic camera zoom effect all the way from outer space down to Earth. This is going to be a surprisingly simple tutorial, but I will assume that you have watched all of the previous parts from this tutorial series. But even if you have not watched the other parts from this series yet, I am going to include all of the clips that you need to follow along with this tutorial down in the description of the video. But enough of me talking, let's jump right into the tutorial. Here we are in Adobe After Effects and what I have here are the three compositions that we've created over the last four parts of this tutorial series. Now, in order to combine them and create the final zoom effect all the way from outer space down into the city and into a building, you could combine these three compositions directly. However, these three compositions render pretty slowly even on my machine. For these tutorials, I usually cut out or speed up the parts where my computer just sits there rendering. Personally, I just don't think that it adds any value to the tutorial, but just to show you that my computer isn't lightning fast either, this is what it actually looks like when I click through my composition. To speed up the workflow for this tutorial, I have actually rendered out these three compositions and created individual video files. Part 2 contains the scene of the sunrise in outer space. Part 3 is a transition scene where the camera starts to dive into the clouds, revealing the city night scene below and off into another layer. Part 4 contains the camera fly through of the 3D model for the city. Fortunately, we've already done all the hard work, so all that is left for us to do now is to combine these three video clips into one long sequence. For that, let's first create a new composition. I'm going to call this composition Space to Earth and I'm going to set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 And I'm going to set the duration to about a minute. Hit OK and let's get started putting all of these clips together. First, drag the clip for part 2 into your composition. This is the scene containing the sunrise in outer space. At the end of this clip, the camera dives into a layer of clouds. This is where we want to seamlessly transition into our next scene. So let's drag the scene that we want to transition to, part 3, into our composition and place it below the sunrise over earth layer. Let me zoom in a little bit on the timeline and then simply align the clip so that part 3 happens directly after part 2. If we scrub through the composition, you can see that this is a really really harsh cut. There isn't really much of a transition here. Keep in mind that if you have rendered out your own composition for this zoom effect, that they might differ slightly from the material I have here and so the way you connect them might differ slightly to what I'm going to show you. The first thing I will do is I will drag my transition scene underneath the very end of the sunrise over earth layer. Then reveal the opacity property on the top layer, on the layer that is your sunrise over earth, and animate the opacity so that this layer fades out within the last maybe 5 frames or so. Scrubbing through this now, this transition looks a whole lot better already. However, I think I'm going to pull forward the bottom layer a little bit so that the camera starts in the middle of the clouds once we're diving into the top layer. Also, I actually do want the last frame of the top layer to be visible, so I'm going to push the opacity keyframe forward by a single frame. My other problem is, and again, this might depend on how you rendered out your scene, I have two frames here at the very end that are actually exactly the same. These two city lights stay stuck on the last two frames and it's going to make for a really awkward transition. To fix this up, reveal the scale property on the layer. Make sure the timeline indicator is at the very last frame for this layer and then add a keyframe to the scale property. 
then increase the scale to push the lights out further as if the camera was diving deeper into the layer. I'm going to set it to around 160%, then go back a single frame and then lower the scale back to 100. This is going to make the city lights jump out at the camera during that transition and it's just going to look a little bit more like the camera is really just shooting down into the layer of clouds. Let's zoom back out of our timeline and play this transition back. Sweet! I think that looks really good. Now before we move on I'm quickly going to rename my layers because it's bugging me that they're called part 2 and part 3. So let's call the top one Sunrise in Space and let's rename the bottom one to City at Night. Let's go to the end of the second clip and let's drag part 4, the camera fly through of our city, into our composition. Again, I'm going to place this clip at the bottom of our composition and I'm actually also going to rename it right now to city fly through. As before, let's drag this clip forward and snap it to the end of our city at night clip. To snap the clip to the end or the beginning of another clip, simply hold shift down on your keyboard while you're dragging this layer around. I know this is going to be horrible, but let's play back the transition as it is. Yep, as expected, looks pretty awful, kind of looks like we're going through a wormhole there, not really what we want. So again, let's apply the exact same trick. Go to a time position on your city at night clip when the camera is down in the second layer of clouds, around here should do. Let's zoom in a little bit on the timeline and let's reveal the opacity on the city at night layer. Animate the opacity from 100 to 0% towards the end of this clip to fade it out slowly. Let's go back a bit to the middle of the transition. Drag the city fly through layer forward and start aligning it with the time when the city at night layer is just fading out. I want to make sure that the camera is already fully engulfed by clouds when this transition happens. Now this still looks a little bit wormholy and you can kind of see a little bit of a strange transition from clouds moving sideways to clouds moving directly at the camera, but we're going to fix that up a little bit more in a minute. Let's go back a little bit and play this transition back. Now, it's still not quite perfect, I think the timing is a little bit off, so I think I'm going to drag the city fly through there forward just a little bit more. Yep, that's not too bad, but you can definitely see that the structure of the clouds is quite different in this last clip. If you're up for it, you can always go back into your original composition, change the structure of the clouds, re-render it out so they align a little bit better, but just in the interest of saving time and not making this another 40 minute tutorial, let's go a quicker way to fix this up. Go and search for the fast blur effect and apply it to the city fly through layer. Now jack up the blurriness to maybe around 180, maybe almost 200. And yes, you're going to get dark edges around the outside of your composition, but simply tick the repeat edges pixel option in the fast blur effect and bam, the black edges are gone. Now obviously we don't want the fast blur effect applied to the whole clip, otherwise it's going to look like we're drunk flying through the city. So let's go back to the beginning of the transition. Add a keyframe to the blurriness property on the fast blur effect, then move forward to the end of the transition and let's lower the blurriness down to zero. This is going to make this transition a whole lot smoother because you're not going to immediately get this really fine grained structure of clouds, it's still going to be quite blurred out and only come in once the camera starts poking out of that last layer of clouds and getting into the city. So just at this point is when the blurriness is going to vanish. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to press U to reveal all my keyframes on this layer and I'm actually going to drag the starting keyframe for the blurriness forward so that the blurriness is fairly strong initially and only really fades away once the camera comes out of the clouds. I'll also push the end keyframe forward just a tad. Now the other thing I'm noticing is that the clouds at the end of my city at night footage are actually a whole lot darker than the clouds at the beginning of my city fly through clip. So again, another simple thing we can do to make this transition just a little bit smoother is go to the end of your transition and then search for and apply the curves effect to the city fly through layer. Let me quickly resize this panel a bit and then add a keyframe to the curves property on the curves effect. What we're going to do is we're going to animate this curve so that the clouds start out dark and then they get brighter towards the end of this transition. So now that we've got a keyframe at the end of our transition, let's go back forward a little bit, maybe to where we're actually fading in the blurriness here. You can see the keyframe for the blurriness effect. Go back into the curves effect and let's bring this one down so that the clouds start out nice and dark and then over time they'll brighten up just as the camera comes out into the city. Again, I think I'm actually going to adjust the keyframes for the curves effect a little bit. So press U on your keyboard and press it again so that you can see the keyframes for both the blurriness and the curves effect on the city fly through layer. 
And let me move this last keyframe for the curves effect forward a little bit so that the clip doesn't get bright too quick, but just as the camera comes out of the clouds, I want the city and the whole clip to brighten up back to normal. Yep, that looks pretty cool. One important thing to remember is that because this composition is a lot of very soft gray gradients and working with blur effects and other things, if this starts to look really blocky for you, make sure that in your project you're setting it to 32 bits per channel. If you're setting this to 8 bits per channel or even oh, 16 should be alright, um, this could be really blocky. So make sure you're using 32 bits per channel because there's a lot of very soft and gentle gradients in here and they're going to look really awful if you're just working at a very low bit rate. And that's pretty much it. Didn't I tell you this was going to be a really simple one? It's because we did all the hard work and all the previous parts already. So the last thing that's left to do, let me collapse all of my properties again. Go back to the beginning of your composition. Let me just quickly resize this so this is nice and big for you. And then play back your final epic camera zoom effect all the way from outer space, down into the city and into a building. And that is really it. Thank you very much for sticking with me throughout this entire tutorial series. I really hope you enjoyed the ride. As always, if you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down in the section below. If you want to see more cool filmmaking or visual effects tutorials, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'd also greatly appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up, favorite it and share it with the world. To get in contact or stay up to date with what is going on, you can also find and follow me on Facebook, Twitter or on Google+. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I will see you later.